These are brothers right here from up at Straightway, Wisconsin, the plastering and sheetrock drywall crew right here. Brother and part of ministry right there. Well, what we're doing here is just give me a slight update here. I'm on the, the house and stuff. And of course, you know, you're looking at the framing right here. Uh, myself, brother Bud, I actually framed uh, these steps. I did all these stringers, first floor and second floor. floor. Um, we chose to go with, uh, we got an eight inch wall right here, a concrete solid. And then we have it um, so we can put insulation on it, backed up by two by four. We got the brother in back here that's putting up not only insulation, uh, but a lot of people don't understand that's actually soundproofing too as well. The house is going to be pretty soundproof that from one room to the next, you're pretty much not going to be able to hear too much uh, from one room to the next, which we like. Uh, they're doing a wonderful job as far as getting this insulation up, staying ahead of that crew right there. And, of course, um, well, as soon as they get this thing plastered, uh, that'll be the ideal time for me to have the appliances over here so I can pull numbers on this wall right here. And, of course, myself and Brother Scott will be making uh, every single custom cabinet and vanity uh, in this home. We'll be doing it all right here. It looks like looks like Ariel is a smart man. He went and got the lift. They have a lot smarter than climbing up and down that ladder though in the sun. <laughs> got David feeding them and they putting soundproof up here because you know you really need it. Now you know I'm sure you know you ain't gonna be able to get double sound on this road. Well, I've been I've been I have to stuff it quite a bit. Oh, you do? Yes, How are we going to do about that sag right here? Um, I'm guessing they didn't put a little tie. Put a wire or something? Yeah, okay. Well, hallelujah. Old David, man. How old are you, David? Uh, 15. He's 15. He looks like he's 30, man. He's a big old man. He's a big old boy. Um, a lot of people, when they're doing entertainment rooms and stuff, they don't add backing and stuff. I add a lot of backing right here for, I mean, cause sometimes I usually try to get the monitor mounts uh, that are 275 pounds plus. Not that you really need that, but you start extending those monitors out 39, 41 feet. Um, you have that there. We have an extraordinary amount of data line in this place. This, this, this home is going to be extremely efficient. I did have a double door right here and we closed it up more to get more room because we actually i'm actually going to build another room on right here um and and because if not it would just have been open wasted space uh for nothing and we still have plenty of space to to do what we need to do to walk here and then have the entertainment room here we're good to go um This is where my new office is going to be at, my new command center, command room. And by the way, I'm on a, I made a decision to go ahead and close up this whole wall right here. But this is, this is my new office. This office right here is probably about eight times the size of the one that I'm in now, easily. Um, and of course, I'm going to need this uh, with Brother Israel and them and, and all their data and everything else they're doing as far as the internet. And everything else and wiring and stuff goes, whoo we, Man, they're going to have us pretty sophisticated here. Um, there's the plumbing that Elder Doug did and Brother Chase. TJ helped out along too, but Elder Doug is the chief plumber here. And that right there is the data line. And that's probably about, I don't know, over 20 or 30 miles of wire already in this building. Again, myself and Brother Bud, we framed up the first floor um, and half of the second floor. And then the brothers from Wisconsin, they also have a crew up there that actually helped frame up pretty much a lot of the second floor and they did the roof. Um, they did the roof. Now we've had it um, come back and readjust and do a lot of things. It's a nice size home. Um, we, we always host a lot of people in our community. Uh, we host a lot of people in our community and stuff, and, and especially when I have blog talk. Sometimes I have upwards of 10 or 15 brothers. It's like being out on the show. The people love the work, um, but there's a lot of work to do. Like, for instance, I moved the stove over, and we had to move the pipe over. Now we got to close that up um, for the vent system and stuff. And 
I've changed the orientation of a lot of stuff. I mean, uh, nothing is really concrete when you're building your own home. A lot of people out there in the world says, well, we're building our home. And they, they put we in it because they go to the bank and they get money. And they say, we building it. But the truth is, they're not building it. I can actually truly say that we are building it. I mean, check this out. That's two boxes right there just for the electric. And uh, so you can see all those lines and all those wires and all that panel. And that's not including this data line and structure, a wire up here that's in front of that light right there. I don't know if you can see it in your bed or stuff, but it's it's up there. It's, it's cat, RJ45, Cat6 line, which will handle up to 10 megs. Um, if, if that technology ever comes out here in this rural area right here, we're doing one. I think they upgraded to two. Um, but there's just simply a lot of thought. We have uh, our own plumbers on the live here straightway. We have our own concrete workers. I'm the chief concrete guy here at straightway, along with Brother Bud. We have our own framers out here straightway. We have our own electrician out here straightway. Um, so that's pretty much not nothing, anything we can't do. But when it comes to a job like this, um, it sure is nice to know that we have a brotherhood throughout the ministry um, that these people do it professionally. They actually hang plaster professionally. A lot of people don't know what the difference between plaster and sheetrock is. Plaster is, I'm going to tell you one thing, you're not going to set up and try to take your hand and punch that wall. More than likely, you're going to injure your hand and break it. That's how solid plaster is. It's like a solid wall. Where sheetrock is just taped over and, and then mudded over and that's it. But this plaster, it's literally, this plaster is done so much so that uh, I remember being down in Mexico and I seen some of the buildings that was plastered. Uh, and they were outside buildings that was plastered. So it would get rained on. Uh, the heat is on it all day long. Wouldn't affect it. It's just a real solid, solid type building. Well, anyway, I got to get the rolling. Got to get the going. Uh, I got some other stuff I need to do concerning getting ready for the Shabbat here. Um, and, of course, look at all this. All this is plaster. Every bit of this. Let me turn this around. All this is plaster. And still got another 100 bags that they're going to bring down during the Feast of Tabernacles. And I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll give y'all the view and show you what else that I'm getting ready to start on here. <clears throat> here in a few weeks <clears throat> coming out the front door right here that's going to be pretty much the view um, of the land now in the future in between that home and that home right there you see that spot right there I'm actually going to build a four bedroom home right there me and the, my, the brother and I are going to build a four bedroom home in that because it, right now it's just used for cutting grass that's it um, you can see our orchard is starting over there. The corn is over there. The grapes is over there. You see that nice pond stocked with largemouth bass, uh, bluegill, and crappie. Uh, we use that to go fishing. It's just a beautiful, beautiful thing. Uh, beautiful pond. I'm actually getting ready here in a couple of weeks. Right out here. I'm going out about another 20 feet, and I'm going to be putting a retaining wall. I wanted to go to that juniper tree or that, um, that evergreen tree right there, but... If I went to the evergreen tree, I would have to raise up the retaining wall so far that we wouldn't be able to see the pond. And seeing the pond is big, so what we do is I'm gonna just cut it halfway. Still have plenty of room for a nice size front yard as well as back. I didn't get to show y'all the back of it. Um, this is how the construction site look. Now, mind you, we have literally uh, been building on this home uh, Three years. Somebody said, well, what takes so long? Well, don't get me wrong. Not just three years. I mean, we've taken time out uh, to go to other communities to help them build buildings at the other communities, at least get the main structure up. I try my best to talk to them about doing their buildings um, in concrete so you don't have to go back and do a lot of maintenance on them at a later time. So um, I believe in concrete, believe in brickwork and stuff like that because they don't make termites to eat concrete. They don't make termites to eat brick. Um, but so there, we, we've been to um, the new community down there uh, in East Tennessee with brother Ron and brother Steve um, doing the homes down there. We're gonna end up probably going back again before 
the turn of the Roman year of 2025 because we got another couple of homes we got to do there. Um, we're going to see about if we can uh, see what Pastor Corey and them at out there and help them, hasten them to that. We've been to Straightway, Indiana, Golson quite a few times to help build out there as well as Straightway, Kentucky East. So a lot of times, you know, even though we have projects and things that we're doing out here on the land, um, sometimes we get a little bit behind. Also, uh, we look up here, that's the brethren. Look at our white truck right there. Uh, they're coming in, what, what they're doing is they're transporting hay. Um, they're transporting hay up here and I'm finna go go see it. Uh, that actually comes from our land uh, which is really close down here. We have a lot of rolls of hay. Uh, we have our own hay that we have now, how, now have. We don't have to pay nobody for it. It's a beautiful, beautiful thing. And we got like uh, 10, I don't know, 15 acres of that that we use for hay and then we'll move some cattle over there as well. But anyway, I think I gave y'all a good rundown. Again, this is what you call the blessing of the Most High Yah, which is rich and had no sorrow. Again, we, we live on 101 acres of land, and there's, there's nothing on this land that it has a bill. And if it was something on this land that have a bill, it ain't nothing that we can't pay off this month. But everything, we do pretty much live by the model of, of living debt-free. Um, and we know how to utilize credit when necessary, but we don't care it for a long period of time. Um, may talk about that and teach y'all a little bit more. But everything on this land, every home, every blade of grass is paid for. And we thank the Father for it. We thank Him for His word. Y'all have a wonderful day. King coming.